You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris joining us now. Dan, how you doing, man? Hey, Smalls, I'm doing well. How are you guys? I'm super fantastic. duper. Right, Heidi, always good to see you. Good Thursday to see morning. you. Hello, John. Hello. <laughs> uh, let's see, a couple high-profile things. Just skip over, get things rolling this morning. Uh, Christopher Columbus, born this day in 1451. Wow. Oh, really? That's nice. Yep. John Adams, 1735. Oh, wow. Played a huge role in getting this country off and rocking. Of course, now he's a high-end craft beer. <laughs> no, that's Sam. <laughs> Sam Adams. Oh, his brother. You're right. <laughs> his brother. Uh, no, either way. Uh, Vodka Trump, who is far better looking than either of the aforementioned individuals, is 38 today. <laughs> and where were you in 1974? Just being born, weren't you? Yes, I was. Just being born. Just yes, being I born. was. Well, I was in a theater catch the premiere of the Tex Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Yes. Premiered this day in 74. We saw that when it was back in theaters in Sioux Falls. They brought it to town for a special event, and I got to Fantastic meet Grandpa. Fantastic film. Based Grandpa John Duggan. On the story of real life serial wacko Ed Gein. Yeah, Ed Gein. Killing yep, Machine. Yep, Killing Machine out of Plainfield, uh, Wisconsin. And it was also Wisconsin that brought us Jeffrey Dahmer and a few lesser known serial killers. Moral of the story is, there ain't much to do in Wisconsin. <laughs> Walter Ellis and David Stanbauer collectively offed about 20 to 30 hapless individuals, which is something I've known for a long time. Packers fans are insane. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice they don't put that on their billboards. <laughs> so there you go. Just thought I'd mention those few items. I appreciate that. Coming up in a bit, uh, we're going to be giving away some tickets to the Monster Jam, and I'm going to be talking to the driver of one of the monster trucks, Grave I, I heard this interview. It's pretty yeah, cool. I'm yeah. excited to chat with, uh, the, the, he'll be coming up here in just a bit. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on Sunny 93.3. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Are you ready? If you plan to use a credit card while shopping, make sure you have the very best credit card for you. It's free to click around and see what we can do for you at bettercreditcards.net. We have options from many different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net, bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sonny 93.3. It's time right now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. Is he? I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. Is he? I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Hey, oh, oh, <laughs> you little smudgy face, sticky fingered little criminals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, let's get right to business because the time is nigh. I don't know what that means, but it means things are getting close. All right. First annual Ranger Dan Babes in the Woods uh, Women's Retreat is coming up, and I get a lot of correspondence from, yeah. our, from the, the 12 ladies making making the trip. Now, this was interesting. We'll just cover it all real quickly here. Uh, let's see, Ranger Dan, blah, 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 blah. Love the show. Goes without saying. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, not real clear on what, if anything, we're supposed to bring on the Babes in the Woods Women's Retreat. Signed, Karen Lindquist, younger, hotter, richer, <laughs> little sister, Sharon Lindquist. Oh, nice. Great inquiry, Sharon. Well, I'll tell you. Here's a really quick list. Thing these may want well bring along for a little trip here. Going to need <laughs> cooking utensils for outdoor cooking, some food, cooler for storage, sleeping bags, bed items, preferably something kind of kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Personal toiletries, <laughs> flashlight, batteries, container for water, and or alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> or we can make it real simple. Me and my colleagues have put together, just, just for this event, the Ranger Dan Lovely Ladies Roughing It Kit. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with all the aforementioned items, plus bonus 
three-day supply of generic Xanax tablets, <laughs> and a 10% discount coupon from Victoria's Secret. That's just forty nine ninety five plus shipping and handling. <laughs> Thank you for your inquiry, Sharon. Hey, Critter Knowledge here. You know, the polar bear is the only bear species in the world that has entirely white fur. Really? Here's the interesting part. The polar bear's skin, however, is black. Really? This is known. So you shave one down, they're they're not so white underneath there. Absolute Critter Corner fact. That's good to know. Well, that is interesting. This is known as the Michael Jackson effect. <laughs> good for Ranger Dan this morning. Little Radio Rangers, you know the drill. Say your prayers. Go to church. Stay in school. Eat your vegetables. Don't be playing soccer. No, let me catch you wearing Crocs. Ranger Dan out. Yes, sir. Again, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner right here on Sunny 93.3. If you have a drug problem, don't let it ruin your life. You can be in treatment as soon as tomorrow, and you can start to get clean in as little as seven days. Take the first step to get drugs out of your life at timeforrehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything, so you really have nothing to lose. Timeforrehab.com. Start your new life. You deserve it. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to this sunny 93.3. You're listening to something. The John and Heidi Show bonus hour on sunny 93.3. See, I know what I'm talking about. It gets complicated. So complicated. Time for water cooler talk with uh, Dan Ferris brought to you by Aqua One. See, I know there's something I usually say here. Dan, take it away. I'm going to just take a break. Okay, and this will be fine. You know, I find this interesting because, you know, most people I know eat. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And a lot of those I same thought you were going to say something after Sometimes that. I was waiting. Daily. No, no, I'm just leaving you hanging there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Sioux Falls is just is absolutely teeming with restaurants. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. They're everywhere. Per capita, it's almost crazy. It's one of the uh, biggest per capita in the country. It is. It, it truly like is. Uh, we're minus one right now. The other day, the original Wendy's on Minnesota closed for that. good after a uh, Boy, 30-plus uh, years. So they were supposed to like do a bunch of upgrades to the building, and oh, really? they couldn't that's, do that. So. That's too bad. Yeah, still two locations in town, but yeah, yeah they're, uh, they're done. They're done. The Sioux Falls health inspectors have just made their rounds. Oh. That's why I'm bringing this. And every single eatery, bar, grill, restaurant in town uh, scored like they should score they as passed. far as health. They all did except for just one, oh. which is surprising because I've been through that. I'm a former bar and grill owner <laughs> in Minnehaha County, and these guys. I can't wait man, to find out which one. It's probably our favorite place. They're, uh, they're, what is your favorite place? I'll uh, just tell you. Uh-huh. Heidi mm. likes some pretty divey places. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Some pretty divey she places. Does, yeah, I like the divey. Like, where do you want to go? She goes, uh, can we go here? I'm like, can we stop and get a tetanus <laughs> shot first? <laughs> well, think of it this way. Last year, uh, five restaurants didn't pass. Okay. And then what they will do is they will give you a certain amount of time to right, bring to it up to where it, it needs yeah. to be they'll give you your little handwritten notes and everything going hey man you need to fix this blah 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 whatever whatever and usually it turns out okay and just so you know the three years i owned my place because yeah. the highest score you can get is a 100 oh nice i always scored a 97 or 98 oh that's cool always and the safety inspector would come and eat at my place too and i'd laugh i go what are you doing here he goes frankly it's one of the few places i trust around here <laughs> so, <laughs> that's good <laughs> which was nice uh, the the one that biffed at the the standalone in in Sioux Falls is Tokyo Twenty Six. Really, I don't think I've been there. Now the average score across the city was from mid to upper nineties, which is really, really good, good. By yeah, the yeah. way, that's good. Uh, Tokyo Twenty Six scored a seventy seven. Oh wow! During uh, what is and, that? And th- this, so what is the what is the? Um, I don't know if they've changed or not. And, and if I remember correctly, when I was doing business, I think it was seventy. Four, okay. I think, but again, that may have changed, and it's been a long time. Right? They don't grade on the curve. <clears throat> no, no, they don't. But it was seventy-seven ain't ain't great, but it's not nothing that isn't uh, fixable. And the folks doing this report, which is the Argus Leader, and by law, I'm not supposed to broadcast it, but I'll take my chances. <laughs> wow! Good thanks, to know. thanks, Joe <laughs> Sneeve, for your hard investigative reporting. I think that, we can as long as we give them credit, right? <laughs> it's Joe Sneeve. There we go. We gave him credit. I'll be okay. Come get some, Joe. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> 
but uh, they reached out to the owners of Tokyo uh, 26, who would not respond, but it's Tokyo 26, so I'm guessing somewhere in the mix is Godzilla. So <laughs> that's all I know. Well, thank you for that report, Dan. So Wendy's is gone. If you're eating out tonight, just rest assured you're going to be fine. You are going to be fine. There you go. And a lot of people don't know this. When you walk into an establishment, a bar restaurant somewhere that cooks in back, has a kitchen in back, you by law can ask for a tour. Can you really? As a customer, you can say, I'd like to see your kitchen, man, and they have to bring you through. Really? No. I'm going to do that. that. I'm going to do that everywhere I go now. <laughs> yeah. Me too. That's that. Yeah. Just, can I sit back there and watch them cook my food? Because n- nobody in the service business l- likes like something as much as somebody coming and going. I like to see the manager and I like a tour of your kitchen. They they, <laughs> lo- they, they love they live it. for that. Favorite two they things. They love it and they will take extra special care of your food. They have Here's nothing <laughs> better to do than Here's that. Here's the thing I would tell you. I have asked to speak to the manager before, and the funny thing is, the response has always been when they get to the side of the table, they'll say, "What seems to be the problem?" Yeah. And and the crazy thing is, I've never asked to talk to the manager because of a problem but i say actually there's no problem i just wanted to say gina did an amazing job mm-hmm. and that takes them by surprise they're like yeah. well really this gina that's because people live in the negative man yeah it, it's pretty cool to go out there and just say something positive out yeah. of it, it is. It's, it's it's very effective it's a very cool thing to do yeah, so it, it's fancy and i've done it where i've called you know mm-hmm. i've called in <clears> to t- talk to a manager and the first the, every that. time they'll always say what's the, what's problem? the problem what happened yeah. everything okay what's the problem that's like, what they're yeah. used to yeah, yeah. so Good point, John. I encourage people to say not something just, nice. Not just leave a tip, but say something nice about the if you have a good a good experience. So that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, do that. Just go up to random strangers and go, "Hey, that Dan Ferris, I really like him. Yeah, he's the best." <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? Here? He's the best investigative so. reporter okay. Sunny Radio has. Well, thoughts and prayers my way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coming up, going to talk to the driver of Gravedigger. I uh, got to make sure we correct. Earlier, Heidi said we were going to talk to Gravedigger. That's a truck. No, no. That ain't going to work. So <laughs> we're going to talk to the driver. I was excited. I thought you were talking about the wrestler. For yeah, the yeah. Oh, no. wrestler. We're going to talk to the driver of the monster truck, Gravedigger, and your chance to call in and win tickets. It's all on the way on Sunny 93.3. The average household has thousands of dollars in credit card debt. If you find yourself in that position and you're making minimum payments, you could be in debt for a long time. Make sure you have the very best card with the very best rates at bettercreditcards.net. We work with different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net, better credit that's bettercreditcards.net thank you for listening to the john and heidi show bonus hour we've got on the phone with us right now the driver of grave digger we've got randy brown how you doing sir i'm doing good man thanks for having me on how long have you been the driver of uh, of grave digger have you been doing this a while oh my gosh yes uh this is actually my 20th year driving a monster jam truck and my 16th year with the grave digger team that is fantastic so was there somebody else driving grave digger before then or is is that something that you guys created Oh, yeah. No, uh, Dennis Anderson created it back in 1982. Oh, wow. It's been around for for many, many years, and uh, I actually grew up down the road from the Gravedigger team, so that's why I was always around, you know, and a part of it, and uh, and, and to jump on board the way I did, man, it's, it's been a great opportunity. And and when you look at Monster Jam, this is a phenomenon that, you know, like when you guys come to town, people come out in droves to, to see this. This has got to be a really fun thing to be able to drive a monster truck, because that's... That's kind of an unusual career, isn't it? It is. It is. And and I'll be honest with you, I never thought that it would give me a, a you know a twenty year career like that and, and racing monster jam trucks. But um, you know, it's it's been an awesome job to have and, and to be able to perform not just in the United States but all over the world, uh it's been very rewarding and, and very eye opening. So what was the path that led you to sitting in the seat of Gravedigger? Did you, you know, how in the world do you even go down that road? And, and, and what got you interested in starting uh, on the path to be a monster truck driver? Right. Well, I grew up on a you know, small farm right here in, in North Carolina, right in the Outer Banks. And uh, with my dad, my dad was always into racing stuff and uh, got into truck and tractor pulling. And uh, back in the 80s and 90s and uh, monster jam or monster trucks, we're kind of a sideshow for tractor pulling, and, and I got to experience that, you know, seeing them develop from the beginning and uh, to uh, to grow up down the road from the Gravedigger team and, and watch it uh, just explode the way it did with popularity. Uh, it just kind of piqued my interest a little bit more each and every time I visited the shop, and, uh, you know, it just became something that I knew 
I had to do. It was an itch I had to scratch, and, and, you know, it combined everything that I loved about racing between uh, motocross and, and drag racing or anything with power. You know, it was just all in one package, and I just had to be a part of it. Well, that is, it's a ton of fun to watch. And we've got Monster Jam coming to Sioux Falls, the Denny Sanford Premier Center, November 8th and 9th. So that's going to be here, like, before you know it, it's next weekend already. I can't believe it. Uh, now, when you guys roll into town, uh, how how much time in advance do you guys need to get things ready? I suppose there's probably, like, an advance crew that gets it all set up, don't they? Yeah, actually, my guys, will, my crew will actually roll into town um, probably about Tuesday before the event uh, and get the trucks ready to go. Uh, sometimes we do appearances with it, uh, you know, at different uh, sponsor locations and things like that. But um, they'll, they'll go in there, they'll get the thing ready to go 100%, check everything over one last time. Um, I usually fly in, uh, usually a day before the event, uh, go over everything that I need to look at and make sure it's right for me. And uh, then we just go at it, man. We start racing and, and turn that thing up. And those poor guys, they work all weekend long to keep it running, that's for sure. So, like, if you get a flat tire on something like Gravedigger, what does it cost just for a tire for something like that? Oh, man, a, a tire runs about, uh, I think they're up to about $3,500 a piece now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if I want to put those on my car, I better save up. Yeah, it, it's going to cost <laughs> you a little bit, yeah. Well, what was the very first monster truck that you ever had a chance to drive? Uh, my own. Actually, I built my own truck. Uh, it's called Pure Adrenaline. Uh, just because of the rush I got when I when I started driving them, uh, I drove it for like I said I, I had an offer from Grave Digger to come work for them before I, and I thought maybe you know I, I wanted to do my own thing and and create you know my own identity and so I did that for about three years, um, and then uh, I got an offer from Grave Digger one more time that was just a deal I couldn't turn down. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us here, and we're going to give away a couple of tickets. I'm going to let you pick a number. What number caller should I take right now? Let's go with number seven. All right. Lucky number seven, 605-933-1980. And for those of you who don't get through as caller number seven, today is your final chance to register as well online at sunnyradio.com. Click the Win Awesome Prizes button at the top of the page. Going to make some winners there as well. Randy, thank you again for taking the time. We'll see you next weekend in Sioux Falls. All right, but thank you for having me on. I look forward to seeing everybody there. Absolutely. Again, Monster Jam is going to be in Sioux Falls at the Denny Sanford Premier Center November 8th and 9th. Tickets are available right now. I've got a link to buy tickets and a link to win tickets at facebook.com slash sunny radio. If you can't have a drink without it leading to another drink and another drink, maybe it's time to get help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at timeforrehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You're listening to Sunny 93.3. A big thank you to everybody that called in. We got a winner. You can quit calling. Uh, If you want to win tickets to Monster Jam, you can still register on our website, uh, very last day today. So if you want to win, sunnyradio.com. Click the Win Awesome Prizes button. I haven't been able to speak He's today. all kinds of confused I don't know what's today. going on. Excuse me. I'm going to clear the palette here. <clears throat> Give me just a second. Okay. The ground is already shaking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Actually, it's Friday and Saturday, but we'll go with that. It's time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. This is so amazing. It's usually about celebrities, but this one kind of isn't. We're hanging kind of a hard left here. Let's see how we do. All right. This do you need a new intro or anything? I, I, you know what? I'm just I'm doing what I do. I don't care. You know, I'm just I'm already uh, shopping. What do we do here? Shopping rooms at retirement communities. That's what I'm up to. What? Okay. Here's the thing, because this is awesome. I'm kind of a sports guy. I'm yeah. sure no genius, but sometimes in the world of sports, something just we've seen sports so bizarrely cool happens, and I'm just going to share. And you know, celebrities. A lot of celebrities are made. Yeah. They're made, and it's something mm-hmm. that people want to do with their whole lives. I want to be famous. And sometimes fame just happens to yeah. you. Yeah. This was the perfect storm. The dude that caught the ball. He didn't catch the ball. No, he didn't. He rocked it off his <laughs> belly because he didn't want to put, <laughs> down, want his, to put down his beer. his two cans of Bud Light. <laughs> so 
<laughs> and it went viral in a heartbeat. We're talking about game number five of this year's World Series. It happened Sunday night, and oh, this was so hilarious. He was just getting back from concessions. Spent $99 and, and on beer. Expensive. Second inning, he's got a can of beer in each hand, in each hand, and here comes the home run. <laughs> Right at him. He doesn't put down a beer. He doesn't put down both beers. He just puts out his chest and gut and lets it wing off. It drops at his feet. He gets the ball anyway. Well, it goes viral. Yeah. Uh, Bud Light is giving him a life supply of beer. That is a awesome. life oh, supply. Oh, that is really nice. cool, Bud Light. And he actually wait, wait. Has anybody checked to see if he tweeted anything when he was fifteen? <laughs> yeah. Does that include when he's at those ball games? Yeah. Like, can he just show him a card and say, "Hey, I, I really don't know." King of beers. Beer. <laughs> Dude's new name is uh, Jeff Adams, and uh, he actually had an interview. He's talking about. It. He goes, "Well, you know, I got kind of trained up in little league." <laughs> uh, I'm going, what? <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> 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 trained up in <laughs> Little League. <laughs> I was not paying attention then either. So <laughs> well, he ref- I took a lot of balls to the chest. <laughs> oh, funny. He was referring <laughs> to his coach telling me, you, know, you get down, get in front of the ball. So if you do biff it off, you know, your mid or your foot or something, it will hit you in the midsection or chest. <laughs> okay, that make makes a little more everybody. sense. Okay, but the whole story gone. is just so funny. If you haven't haven't seen the clip, it's <laughs> it's pretty awesome. That home run, by the way, is off uh, Astros first baseman. Jordan Alvarez hit that round tripper, and Did, uh, there is, you go. Is that done now? Did they? Is no, it, no. When is it no, done? It's when? coming any minute, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about this story. I mean the World Series. No, and that's why we're just moving on. You're not a sports guy. It I don't just, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Did somebody win? Is there? <laughs> Soon. Is it T-ball now? Is soon, that what happens? Soon. Oh, gosh. You know, soon. Well, thanks for the sports report, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and Bud the Light. celebrity news and everything all into one. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not dropping these beers. <laughs> that is thanks awesome. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris right here on Sunny 93.3.